Hello everyone, today in our series of Docplex's KOL interviews, we have with us Dr. Prasanna Kumar Reddy, who is, em who is an eminent gastroenterologist and laparoscopic surgeon and is currently working at Apollo Hospital, Chennai. He is a fellow of Royal College of Surgeons, England, Edinburgh and Glasgow. He has also done a diploma in laparosurgery from University of Strasbourg, France. He is also a fellow of gastroenterology honoured with Doctor of Science by the famous Dr. MJR Medical University, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. He has served as an executive committee member of Indian Association of Gastroenterology Surgeons. He has established a surgical gastroenterology advanced laparoscopic unit at Apollo Hospitals and trained more than 130 surgeons under his supervision. Thank you Dr. Reddy for this interview. Thank you very much for the as a pioneer in the field of gastroenterology, can you tell us few of the practice procedures and their benefits? The surgical gastroenterology as such, it is a relatively new specialty. It has carved out from general surgery. At the, to start a department of general surgery to surgical gastroenterology, we must be a good practitioner and there must be good ancillary departments like medical gastroenterology and uh, um, imaging sciences like ultrasound, CT scans and then plus you need an excellent pathology department with, when, uh, with other facilities. These are the all the four arms plus in addition the most important thing which we don't recognize is the research and academics. I would say I am happy to say all these things are present in Apollo hospitals under the vision of our beloved chairman Dr. Pratap Siretti. And now coming to your question, one, one of my in the how this medical medicine and the technology, the learning and the is ever changing. The whole concept what when I was in training in England has changed it in, in a different way now. For example, if you see what we were operating when I was in training for peptic ulcers. Now due to the development of these, these uh, proton pump inhibitors, the peptic ulcer surgery has disappeared. Similarly, the lot of things which we were didn't think of before, we are doing it with the ever evolving new technology and plus the most important thing is endoscopic services plus CT scan services, these made our surgeries much simpler. So you have done a lot of work in gastroduodenal surgeries, so can you elaborate on duodenostomy for SMV syndrome? Interestingly during my, during my experience, I have done about nearly a dozen cases of superior mesenteric artery syndrome which means is in, in young girls in particularly the what is called the superior mesenteric artery it presses the third part of the duodenum with the result they constantly keep vomiting and then they keep on losing weight multiple hospital admissions and finally they land with the surgeon for the Till that time they keep on going with the, all the other general practitioners, general medicine specialists and gastroenterologists and finally they end up with it. This is the sim very good example where all the services are necessary where the um, clinical knowledge, endoscopic and uh, radio radiology imaging, imaging services, these will definitely give that angle which gives this between the iota and the superior mesenteric artery where the angle gets becomes less and the duodenum is compressed. Then once you do a surgery and this can be done comfortably laparoscopically now and the girls are very happy with it. A diagnostic challenge for treating clinicians includes retroperitoneal gastric duplication cyst. So what are your suggestions for their treatment? Once again the 
but uh, gastric duplication cysts are not common. They are very rare and uh, usually they do not as such present with any specific complaints except vague gastric complaints. So, by, by chance by investigating them by way of uh, um, CT scans and we are, we are able to detect this gastric duplication cysts. If they have a communication into the stomach, endoscopy will show, but otherwise they, it is the um, CT scans which help them. These also can be comfortably removed laparoscopically. These are all one day surgeries. So, Dr. Reddy, what is the management of left sided gallbladders without uh, situs inversus viscerum? This is what is called as a um, sinistro position of the gallbladder, which we published this article way back in. Uh, in in 90s and that is um, the, the patient presents exactly in the same way like any other gallbladders, but when, when we investigate them and they will be the gallbladder will be on the left side. So, the surgeon should plan his operation as if he is operating on the left side not on the right side. So, which means we stand in between the legs and then operate it is almost like a mirror image type of operation. So, can you elaborate on the importance of the size of stoma in coliodocoduodenostomy? Coliodocoduodenostomy is, is an operation, we do perform it and we were performing it very often, often before, but instead when most of the cases now which will require this operation, we perform a coliodocoduodenostomy. In that, at least we try to keep a stoma of about as much as nearly 1.5 to 2 centimeters in diameter, so that it will not get narrowed in, in, in due course of time. As such, coelodocodeodenostomy is rarely performed nowadays as compared to coelodocodeodenostomies. So, Dr. Reddy, you have performed an exceptional surgery on a rare disease condition of congenital type duplex gallbladder. So, can you please share your experience on? It is a very rare condition, there is only one case I have operated where there is one gallbladder inside the liver, one gallbladder outside the liver. Fortunately, what has happened, both gallbladders had the stones and the already patient was operated elsewhere and when he went inside, he could not find, the, he found the first gallbladder was very difficult, the second gallbladder he could not find. So, that is how the patient came to me, I operated. When I had a look inside, I could see the gallbladder 1 and removed it. The second gallbladder I also could not see, but there is a gallbladder because the imaging sciences like CT scan or MRI, they help very much in these cases where you will not be wrong. And so, I pursued the matter, I opened the liver, when I opened the liver, the whole gallbladder with a big stone is there. And that is the only case I found true duplex gallbladder, one inside the liver, one outside the liver. So, you have trained many surgeons in the field of GI and laparoscopic surgery. Any words of encouragement for upcoming generation of surgeons who are willing to come to this speciality? Um, in the Apollo group of hospitals, we were the first people to get the um, laparoscopic fellowship from the national boards from Delhi. And also subsequently, I got the the diploma and national boards for the GA surgery. So, we have at, at any time four fellows training in laparoscopic surgery and six fellows, six national board I mean postgraduates doing their GA surgery. So, altogether we have at any time we have a 10 people who are having training now. And I really enjoyed him when I got my first candidate for the fellowship examination and subsequently the, um, the surgical gastro diploma candidates. And it, it is it's really a pleasure at this, at this age to train, to pass on the knowledge and, and send these surgeons to various parts. I am very happy to say to whom I trained, the Pant Jaipur, and uh, Ahmedabad and Kerala and uh, plus in various places they are doing extremely well. I would always joke, 
you people are doing better than your teacher so so do you think an online platform like docplexus can help the medical fraternity and update them about the recent developments in the field of laparoscopic and gastroenterology docplexus is a one of the very important channel where it passes the message so so that many doctors will the message will be will reach many doctors and that's how they they can update their knowledge and uh, they in fact it's it's a great help thank you so much dr reddy for joining us today thank, thank you. you very much thank you to stay updated on our latest scale videos and interviews please follow us on twitter like us on our facebook page and subscribe on our youtube channel happy doc flexing